for Black Leda Belgian Darts Open. First round action brought to you live by the PDC Europe as we're coming to you from the Oktoberhallen in Visa, Belgium. Visa, sein Juli klar for the Darts! Well, let's now meet our next two players. Would you please welcome first from Belgium, a former world trophy champion, a lakeside world championship quarter finalist in his second European tour event. Time to meet Kurt de With 47 PDC titles to his name, a former Masters UK Open and World Match Play Champion, the reigning European Champion, and a two-time Champion of the World, it's Snakebite, Peter! into the second half of the evening session, day one of the Belgian Darts Open, the first day of the European Tour for 2024. And the crowd has collectively just caught its involving Luke Littler and Jose de Souza. Luke Littler surviving an almighty scare against the Portuguese man of scores, but coming through to take his place in the second round. And now our focus turns to the reigning European champion Peter Wright who arrives here on the back of another fruitless performance in the Premier League as well yet to win in the Premier League and we'll be hoping this European Tour stage can 
bring out the best in him once again. He has played some of his better darts on the European Tour stage and certainly could do with a, a much improved performance this time around as well as he gets his 2024 campaign off and running. Geert de Vos, though, may well prove to be the best hope of the Belgian host nation qualifiers. The BDO World Trophy winner in 2015 came through five rounds of qualifying last night. 86 average in his second round win against Brian Roman, perhaps the standout performance, although he did average higher against Patrick Boulin in his final round. But he will perhaps have to produce something on that level if he's to threaten Peter Wright in this one. Paul Nicholson alongside me, Rob Malarkey, for our fifth match of the year. First leg, Peter the throw first. Game on. It's all smiles at the start. These two, I'm sure, have been in plenty of practice rooms together. However, at the minute, Peter de Vos is not a PDC tour card holder because that's why he was eligible to be in the host nation event yesterday, which got four Belgians through. But that doesn't detract away from how good de Vos can be. In a strange twist of fate, 42. in the only event he's played in the European Tour before, he beats someone called Heert. So, if Peter was to change his name tonight to Heert the Right, 100. maybe it would be academic, but this is a tough game, regardless of the fact that Peter Wright is pointless in the Premier League. At times he's played well and still lost. 140. Yeah, I don't think he'll be carrying any baggage necessarily from the Premier League performance, not just last night, but indeed the Premier League performances so far this season. Have you seen 100. Peter Wright in the airport? Right. He's got more baggage than <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Literally. <coughs> Never seen anybody travel with so much stuff. Yeah, he's a, a high maintenance player. In a good way. In a good way. And he's throwing a set of darts that I've never seen him throw before. Shock horror. There is actually a, a page on X now which monitors 100. the change in equipment weekly. It's, it's quite amusing. But you're right in what you say, Rob. I think this place, in the same sort of way as Joe Cullen does in his career, he tends to save most of his best stuff for this tour. Yeah. Yeah, you look at Peter Rice and what he was doing on the European 94. Tour 2017, Peter 2018. He, he, was, he was the top dog at, in one particular campaign. And I think it can, 60. or it's, it's, it's had a habit Peter of bringing out the best in him team. when he's needed to find something. Winning the European Championship last year was a, a classic example, really. I agree. That was a great win. Game Michael Down is one of his best wins when he Take finally decides to, to walk away from top level PC. Yeah, because he wasn't being talked of as a as a winner of the European Championship in perhaps the way that you might expect. Uh, he was he was in the conversation, but he was quite a long way down the conversation. So he, like Rob Cross, has got two European Championships, but one of the strangest turns in his career is that he's won eight of these European Tour events, but only in two countries, mm. Germany and 95. Czechia. If you look at Czechia last year, when he was off the back of a bad Premier League campaign, he won there, he played excellently. <laughs> 66. And when he beat Chisnell in the final, it was shock from all of us because we thought we weren't sure he was going to win a tournament last year but that European 95. Tour event which gave him his second country in his CV snapped that streak of seven events won in Germany 60. I wonder if he's going to get a third this weekend it'll be a nice birthday present on Sunday yeah and also it's, um, this year marks the 10th anniversary of his first European Tour success that was in the European Darts Open in 2014 in Dusseldorf. That seems to be coming up a lot today at that tournament, the EDO. And you've got Wade against Barneveld next, and the only tournament 100. that Barneveld has won in this tour Pace is the European Darts Open. We talked about it with Cullen. He hasn't missed one since the EDO back in 2016. Yeah. That was a final where a certain Michael 56. Van Gerwen accounted for Peter Wright in the final. One of the over 100 meetings that they've had. 
That is a great first start, and he'll stay there. You might think he should have been a bit more aggressive by throwing that dart harder. Throw it harder, you just go out and sink sometimes with his throw. Just trying to nestle it in there. Well, this is interesting. Double 16 for Kiet. 40. Peter, you require 52. Foxy, not in the boxy. No, he wasn't. And uh, Peter Wright has an opportunity to take an early 2 0 lead in this Gage one. And on the second leg. no hanging around on double Peter 20 Wright. either. Third leg, Peter the third they will feel as though he could have had an opportunity in the previous visit, but doesn't really derail him at all. You know how earlier in the game I was talking about the changes of equipment, 60. how it's got its own page now on social media. I think someone's going to be starting a page today. When was the last time Peter Wright wore plain black trousers? 81. I honestly don't know. It must be a long time ago. Is it non-uniform day today? Yeah, maybe so. I mean, yeah, he does look a little bit um, underdressed, I think. Certainly understated tonight, Peter. <laughs> understated Peter Wright. Which is a rare we, thing. We never say that. Well, let's be a fact. We rarely say that. But we 100. often say that Peter Wright could be playing Michael van Gerwen in a European tour event. That is the person who is waiting. The number eight seed MVG, the defending 82. champion of this event, is waiting for the winner. Yeah, you mentioned that title in... Um the Czech Republic, and his only other title last year was the World Series event, the Nordic Darts Masters in January. So, yeah, ranking titles have been few and far between, and, well, this is almost de Souza-esque, isn't it? De Souza with the score of seven when he was looking at 120 in the decider against Luke Littler. That was just one of the many subplots going on with that particular match. It was a, a brilliant match. It's gone a little bit quiet, as you might imagine, in this uh, arena. The crowd just having a bit of a breather after that high octane stuff. Oh, I was standing just as the, the company box watching that game. It was, it was remarkable, a great spectacle. And, and Littler just seems to bring the buzz. And De Souza played so well in that game. He, he could have won it. Yeah. That would have been a great story for him to go into Saturday, but it's not going to be. 100. Poor Christoph Ratajski, he's got to handle Littler tomorrow. Yeah. He's going to have to bring his A-plus game. Double 12 for Peter. And that game is a really nice finish. Leg. That area of his game leg, here tonight has been excellent. 60%. However, the overall numbers, they are unfortunately too familiar when he's playing against elite 100. competition. You said earlier, Rob, that DeVos would have to bring the kind of level that he got against Patrick Buelan last night, a former Belgian representative at the World Cup, of course. Yeah. He played in 2010 100. with Rocco Myers. If you knew that at home, you know your dart. Yeah, it was interesting looking at that uh, last night. Like I say, he, because it's an open draw, there's no seeding. He, he had the misfortune, I suppose, of playing Brian Roman in, in the second round. He only, I mean, over those five matches last night, he lost five legs. Four of those were against Roman, and he had a 6-1 win in his semi-final. So, three six nils. The biggest average came in the final qualifier, but yeah, I think the, the tough assignment was the, the, the Roman one where he averaged 86, but I think the average was brought down by the fact that he had to play 10 legs. But yeah, something like that, that, that that's what he needed, but... You look at Peter Rice at the moment, 17 data, 17 data, 17 data, nice and steady, consistent average of 88. That's, that's where the boss, I think, at the minimum PT has to be. And if you're allowing an elite player like Peter to have six visits, that is bad news. That's 96 left, and look how pretty that 60 is. Right in the middle. Well, Foxy needs to get busy here with two 60s and tops. It's not going to happen. And this Belgian crowd are not just taking 41. a breather after the PT previous game. 18. They are left with nothing to cheer for because Peter Wright could be 4-0 up here. And won't be at this visit. Ten. Yeah, this is the last hope as far as the host nation qualifiers are concerned. Mike De Decker, of course, through to the second round tomorrow. But the Vos is flying the flag for the qualifiers. 
and the flag is still flying. Peter Wright lets that one slip through his fingers. Missed opportunities. Could so easily have been looking at a 4-0 lead. De Vos, though, keeps himself going, keeps himself ticking over, and gets the hold of throw. That could have made something. Shots like that have a habit of doing it. But you mentioned that six visits has been the range of play in this match so far. 18 darts for that bull finish. And there's, <laughs> there's Jackie in the crowd just trying to give some sort of encouragement. He wasn't here at the Voss in that 1-1-9, he was here at the Gloss. There was a bit of Gloss on that finish, very, yeah. very nice. Yeah, it might just give him something to work with moving forward. I wonder if his hopes are as high as his fringe. He does have a little bit of a resemblance to Tintin, doesn't he? It's uh, it's the quiff that does it, really, more than anything. I've and Jim Williams is not here, everyone. 60. <laughs> I was just a bit baffled as to why we had a, a Mona Lisa in the crowd. They've got some really good chance for their players. They had some belters for Mike De Decker earlier. 79. I think it was come on Mikey, come on Mikey. Catchy. Simple but catchy. I wonder what Dimitri's going to get. The first time he's going to be introduced as a UK Open champion will be in Belgium. And we've got 95. a change of equipment in the middle of the match. There yep. aren't many players that do that. There will be a huge ovation 58. for Dimitri Vandenberg. He's only playing Stephen Bunting, who's the Masters champion, but this is not just a change 100. of barrel, it's a change of flight, stem and point. It's an everything change. Yeah. That's like walking into a New York deli and saying, do you know what, I fancy a salad today for lunch. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you think, oh, I'll just have an everything bagel instead. 100. Peter, you one well, that 140 10. might be enough to give Peter Wright something to think about here. 90 away. Double 18. For a 4-1 lead. That's, I was going to use the word priceless. I wouldn't say priceless, but I think very significant because De Vos there was threatening a break of throw, but Peter Wright has just done enough to hold him off. Do you know what, Rob? I've come up with something. If he wasn't Snakebite, what would his nickname be? And I think it would be Pit Stop. Because when it comes to it, a middle part of the game, well, he's running out of 42. fresh tyres. And he just goes and gets some fresh ones. <laughs> so, you know what? Four legs in, I don't like these darts. Let's go to another set. And Pit see, Stop, Peter Wright. See what happens. Again, it flows. 41. I just love how he plays with different sets. And he's just not bothered. He can throw anything. If there was a tournament where it was roulette as to what you would use, Peter Wright would win it miles 85. in front of everybody else. Because he can throw anything. He could probably beat Kate DeVos with his own stuff. <laughs> 100. Well, don't be fooled about this set of darts. This shape did get him to a UK Open final around 95. eight, nine years ago. We had three consecutive UK Open finals, remember? Two losses, then a win. Yeah. Third time, well, not lucky, because he was brilliant in 2017, like you mentioned earlier. That was one of his best years. Yeah, five Euro Tour titles that year. I've just had to uh, double check, but uh, yeah, 2017 was his uh, stellar year on the European Tour. This has been a really below par leg for Peter Wright. That's another, well, that's a fourth successive sub-ton uh, sub visit from uh, Peter Wright. And De Vos is looking at Shanghai, and he's looking at tops, and he's finished the job. Now, it's only a hold of throw, but again, it's a timely one, because... He's capitalised there on a really below par leg there for Peter Wright, and if there are any signs that Peter Wright is losing his way, this is where De Vos has to make his move and has to step in. Do you know what? If there was a world championship for the biggest fan in world darts, Jackie Gernfels would be the 25-time world champion of being he the best darts fan. Tireless at times. He's about as energetic as our RMC today, <laughs> which is very, very energetic. But De Vos. 100. The key to his success in this game is ton plus checkouts. Yep. Two legs won, 119 out. 
120 out, and obviously the next leg he wins is going to be 121. 57. Sometimes it's very difficult for crowds like this, who are very pro Peter Wright, to cheer Six. against him yeah. because of their home player. They've been very respectful in this one. If this were, for instance, somebody else playing here, I guarantee you they would be louder. 58. Yeah, I think you made the point earlier that perhaps they're just a little bit too respectful at times. But, I mean, look, I'm not going to knock them. They've been brilliant both so far this weekend 40. and over the course of three days last year as well. And 2022, they were amazing. It's one of the best places to come and watch Euro Tour Dart. It may just be the best now, this place. It's not the biggest, but it's very close to the best. And that's why these players want to win this title. Well, we've had three successive Tum Plus checkouts in this match. Is this going to be a fourth? No, it's 61. not. Not yet. Because not yet. If, if DeVos hits 98 here, and he's 120. Oh, 81. that was a lazy last start. He just threw it away. Double 10 to stop that streak that Rob was talking about. There you go, 5-2 to Peter seven, Wright, he's not even playing Peter that Wright. brilliantly. Eight that 88 Nathan average Hunters. level that he created for himself in the first three Game legs off. has been maintained. Yeah. And that's been the key. He's, um, he's been able to summon up the necessary goods when required. 23. And if you can pounce all over that sloppy visit by DeVos, then Peter Wright could take care of business here and now. He's not playing with a smile on his face today, Peter Wright. He looks a little bit... 64. Just a little bit forlorn at times, almost. The body language isn't great. I might be reading too much into this, but, yeah, the, there was a puff of the cheeks. The, the shoulders dropped there just a moment or two ago. Well, Dan Dawson tweeted a little bit earlier today that it's 2016 100. since Joe Cullen had played on a Friday. He went straight into it very well. However, he didn't have to play Premier League last night. Yeah. Getting from Brighton... To Belgium is not the biggest journey. They do program it so that the journeys for the Premier League players are as short as possible. But I assure you, getting up at about four o'clock this morning, yeah. getting an early flight, getting here, programming a little nap in there, and getting your nutrition and your hydration right, it's a process on a Friday. I can attest to that. I did it a lot in 2018, coming straight from Premier League darts to playing on Friday night. It's hard. Yeah. All you want to do is get through. I had to even play in the Premier League. Yeah, and then... 140! You feel with Peter Wright as well that sometimes he, he has to live up to expectations as well when he's on the European Tour stage. There is that added pressure as well. 60! But, uh, yeah, it's gone a little bit PT quiet inside the October, Holland. I think the crowd will find their voice again. Oh, they will. Especially when Dimitri's called. 57 leaves a ton. Match start will have to wait for next time 97. round. But yeah, for Peter Wright, it is all about just getting the job done, taking care of business in the opening 60. round. Of course, it won't get any easier. MVG lies in wait for the winner of this one. Wow, that was close. Game but that one is very good indeed. <laughs> He's saying to the referee, can you see how close that was to the treble 20? Had he hit it, that would have been a, a rather embarrassing moment. However, he has set up that block clash with Michael Van Gerwen, which will be tomorrow night. The number eight seed, MBG. Well, he's got tonight off. Peter didn't have the night off, but has got the job done. Average just under 90, and that's his first nine as well. Lots to find before he plays the green machine. But on this occasion, it was good enough.